Bye. edition of lunch break yes and if you're seeing my co-star today is my fabulous wife over here what's up Melissa. the sous chef is on vacation by the way for two weeks so yes welcome to lunch break the show that brings you the many foods you can make during your break at lunch and i'm gonna sit you down over here so this way you guys can watch the action there we go right there you go okay. so and of course we're live today on instagram on twitter and uh, who just came out on Twitter? Somebody uh, came out. Somebody by the name of ZigZag9. What up, ZigZag9? We're giving that? shout outs to everybody who comes on to our live today. So, what up, James? What up, Michelle? What up, Lizzie? Just in case you know, I didn't say it before because you know we weren't live fully yet on TV. But yes, we are live today, and Melissa's here. Hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> oh, now it looks better. Look at that. Oh, yeah. awesome. So yes, hey Titi, what up? Titi Lori's on. Hi, Titi Lori. <laughs> So yes, everybody, so if you're tuning in in any of our social medias, anywhere, and TV, but also, uh, we are making, as we're doing for season three, we're keeping up with traditional recipes handed down. Well, yeah. Um, so we're doing a Puerto Rican dish today called arroz con pollo. Arroz con pollo. Tailored to lunch We don't bread. pronounce the Z in Puerto Rico, we say arroz. Not arroz, okay? That's that Dominican, Dominican stuff. Keep that stuff right. over there. I roll my R's, okay? No, we don't roll R's. We, I'm we driving. Yeah, we don't roll R's. Arroz con pollo. <laughs> arroz and it's the Z. The Z is arroz not pronounced. Pollo? No, arroz. Arroz pollo? <laughs> You're going to witness a murder today live on lunch break. I hope you guys know that. Okay? Just to give you an idea, yeah, you will be witnessing a murder. 187, I'm just Damn. saying. Damn! <laughs> <laughs> Your titi said, Whippa! Hi, Sam! Hey, How Sam! Are what you? Up? Yeah, everybody's coming on to the live today. Yeah, because I sent out a blast because yours truly has some connections hey, too. Man. I'm just saying. <laughs> so it's arroz con pollo. Not make, arroz, just, it's arroz con pollo. Don't, don't feel bad, anybody, because I'm trying to make, you know, give love to everybody and, and the Twitter dot again, apparently. Uh, you want me to refresh it? No, nah, because okay. we don't got time for that, sorry. So, hey, uh, hey, hey! Who's, uh, <laughs> who did it? Uh, well, it's it's who did it? Super Mario. Uh, it's two L's, two S's. <laughs> just in case, I don't want to end up dead. I give him a pass. <laughs> this not everybody I knows it's two pass. L's and two no, S's. No, yeah, my name is pretty weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? yeah. yeah. So uh, I guess we're only gonna have uh, make love. Hey, mom, uh, make some love only to the uh, Instagram people because yeah, uh, Twitter. Sorry, guys. Twitter don't like us right now, so. Aw, Sam said she okay. can't wait to see us. We can't wait Woo! to see you either. So it's arroz, see. Thank you, Titi. It's listen, arroz, not li arroz. Listen, okay? listen, listen, listen. Arroz con pollo. <laughs> arroz con pollo, okay? Yes, I'm gonna end up that anyway. After there you go, 187, 187, live on lunch go, break. This is gonna be the next show called Lunch Break Rip. Rest in go, peace. Rest in peace. <laughs> oh, there you go. Look, some American. There you direction. go. No worries, no Alright, so with that, uh, this recipe calls for, of course, you know, because it's arroz con pollo. Arroz. We're gonna fight. <laughs> Which is, in English is called rice, rice with chicken and, or chicken with rice. Yeah, cause, mm -hmm. which way would you say? Because is it chicken with rice or rice with chicken? Well, the way I was brought up saying it, it's rice with chicken. Hey, Jackie, what's up, moms? Arroz. See, yes, Your so, son is not here today. So the way we actually you say it, it's like, it depends. Like some people say it chicken and rice. Other people say rice and chicken. I just say feed me. That's all I say. I'm saying I'm just hungry. Yeah. So it's arroz so, con with that, pollo. Um, this recipe for the, um, basically the arroz con pollo. There you I, go. I, I, I didn't say the arroz. I said arroz, right? Arroz. See, see? Yes. Um, it's basically made with chicken. Chicken. <laughs> <laughs> the fan of um, white edition. It has bacon. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. See, yeah, no, wait, this, wait. no, I got time the, out, time I got out. the pause. traditional one. I'm going to do what, what, what CK does. No, no, pause. No, there's a pause, traditional one. Pause. This is just traditional. Pause one. because I'm going to tell you right now traditionally, Puerto Ricans do not put bacon in their arroz con pollo <laughs> at all. Sorry, we but put, that's, this is the recipe. Me, I'm going to correct you. It's this called. This is the one made from Puerto Rico. Right, no, this, they so, use something called tocino, which uh, is no, which is no, different. No. Yes. This is the actual recipe He's for the one He's going to tell somebody who grew up in a Puerto Rican home. Are you kidding me right now? 
Are you are you really kidding me right now? We use tocino. So, tocino is not anyway, bacon. Anyway, as we continue, back to the for this okay. recipe, it's chicken, <laughs> it's bacon, okay? <laughs> Which is replacing the tocino if you want to keep it ethnic here, okay? <clears throat> um, it requires olives. Oh, I love olives. Did you get, okay, you got the good ones, okay. I don't like um, the other ones with the pits in the middle. It also requires for um, spice wise. Okay. Well, actually, also for, um, no, the, the other stuff. It also oh. requires, in addition to rice, uh, sofrito oh with God. tomato sauce. Okay. So I actually found the sofrito with tomato sauce because you know my lovely, beautiful wife was busy, so she couldn't make the sofrito yes. from scratch. Yes. So this is a great option to like substitute, but I don't really care for it. But okay. Um, it also requires in the rice um, sweet peas or green beans um, and minced garlic. Just don't show the names. <laughs> They're not sponsoring us. We're not giving them money for it. They will after this. <laughs> um, it also also calls for um, with the chicken and the bacon. It calls for an onion, diced and sliced onion. So we got white onion, which is also the one that's used when you cook it. It turns clear and all that stuff. Now the other portion also also requires for ingredient wise is garlic powder, <clears throat> onion powder, oregano. Olive oil, which normally you know use canola if you want to, and chicken broth. Exactly. Okay. Like I'm I said, so curious to I'm, see I'm, I'm following go. the exact recipe. Uh, cut these up into small chunks, into little, little squares, so they can cook thoroughly in the uh, grill. So basically, we're gonna do the chicken and the bacon Deep one? on the grill. Yeah. Um, and then the rest of the stuff we're gonna put in our pasta bowl, but you guys can put it in a container. But remember. I'm making a lot. Yeah. Y'all just making for yourself. So don't make a lot unless you're making a lot for a lot of people. Whatever we're doing, cut it in half to make it as a single or, uh, or like quarters. One quarter. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, quarters. one quarters or one half it depends on how much you eat. So and everybody on the Instagram, we're not we're not forgetting about you guys. Hello, hello. Hola, hola. Hola, hola. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna cut this in half to make it easier. You notice CK's uh, trying to like kind of take over everything because he's so used to Doobie do Normally, Doobie would be washing the chicken and doing other stuff, but for some strange reason, my husband has this thing where he thinks I'm not capable. What? Who I said? I can cook him under the table any No one said nothing like that. I'm doing what? this because it's the Ch only- Oh! Do oh I hear God. it? Do I hear it in the background? God. Do you hear it? I hear- Do I hear- Challenge? No, I didn't. Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> challenge accepted. I'm only doing this because this is the only thing, besides the bacon, that needs to be cut. The rest of the stuff we don't need to do anything else with. And she'll be doing it. <laughs> yes, indeed. Oh, we will shoot. be doing a challenge here on lunch right. break. No, here, here, and there. Not on top in front of the camera. Like I said, 187. <laughs> Thank you. 187. We're going to be doing that. Oh, my goodness gracious, I tell you. That's funny. Mm -hmm. So, with, like, with like I was telling you guys, with dealing with poultry, you really want to be really careful with the spread of salmonella. That's why you have separate um, cutting stuff for poultry specifically yes. and fish. You should always have different cutting boards. And I know it seems like a lot of work to have that stuff yeah, there, you have to. but you exactly because of cr cross con uh, cross, cross contamination. contamination. So you really want to be really careful when it comes to stuff like that. So make sure you have different utensils when it comes to cutting poultry and fish. Yes. And you always want to clean your cutting boards after you're using what them. Happened? <laughs> sure. Uh -oh. Oh. 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 No, 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 no. I don't want to know. Um. Uh, Overwatch has said that he wants to be part of the mystery challenge. Oh, see, no, that's not fair. Us, provide us with a mystery item that we can okay. both do on the okay, challenge. Okay, because I was about to say, to have two Dominicans up against me, what? not, <laughs> not good. Because then I have to bring up my arsenal, which would be a guest Puerto Rican person who will just, like, kind of help me out. Because I'm good, but going up against two Dominicans, I don't know about that. <laughs> what? I, I, and, and especially as, because one of them, Overwatch, <laughs> I, I don't I don't cross certain rivers and that's one of them, okay? That's funny. 
MustSeeTV.com. <laughs> so he's cutting up the chicken right now in strips and then into pieces as well. Yeah, making them into like cubes. So if you're doing this at home and you want to bring in bring it into work and cook it at work. Really? Um, if you want to oh, actually season your meat in advance and freeze I did not it, know that. that's what I usually do. Um, uh, Overwatch said that he's actually half Dominican and half Puerto Rican. Wepa! Best of both worlds! Can I get a hashtag Romeo Santos? Hey! Really? Yeah, sorry. Why that dude? Because no. Why people, not anybody because else but Dominicans that dude? Dominicans can't stand Romeo. How about that? Yeah, no, I can't. Y'all can't stand him because he's mixed with Listen, one of the. I'd rather deal with Mark Listen Anthony here. than anybody else. It's okay, it's all good. But anyway, back to business here. If you want to season your meat in advance, <laughs> it actually saves. Ha ha ha! It takes um, it takes a little bit of time. But however, when you purchase it right from the supermarket, uh, CK can tell you. I usually wash everything before putting it in the freezer. That way, it's easier when you take it out of the freezer. It it takes away. It's less time to put in preparation, basically. Yeah. So you're going ahead to actually prepare going forward, but it actually saves you time when you're cooking. That's so true. that's one of the tips that my abuelita or my nana taught me when I was growing up. Always wash every single poultry, fish, beef, whatever. It does oh, not matter. <laughs> I like that. Uh, so always wash all your, all your stuff cool. that you like purchase that. Um, ahead in advance. I would suggest um, that. All right, so... Uh, Let me put this in here. Let's try no, no, because I'm... I, it's okay. Like I'm, I'm still gonna use that. Um, so you're gonna switch with me. Switch. Right, so you're gonna put olive oil. How much olive oil, sir? Mm, we don't measure on that way. So. Wepa, good job. <laughs> you already you know. Me, There's a meme so, on Facebook. Puerto Ricans don't measure ingredients. They just go to the point where they're where they're talk um, and grab. Talk and grab. Where they're what they're <laughs> what do they call them? Your, when their ancestors say coño. <laughs> we usually know by sight. So I'm gonna go by sight. How about that? That's what we do here on Trick anyway. Listen, if y'all cooks, you not you should know what to do. Hey Christina! Yeah, if you if you're well right, uh, that was actually uh, too much. That's not. Yeah, no, that was too much. Never too much. No, that was too much because that's gonna go on the grill. It's okay, you'll be alright. Um then you're gonna grab one of these sessions. Yep, okay. one of those in there. All right. Get into that. And just have the package. Okay. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Damn, shit too much. That's okay. okay. Nothing it's okay because we're not gonna dump it in there. Because okay, so normally if you were doing this on a skillet, the amount of olive oil that you put in there would be the sufficient amount. But because it's going out to grill, all that oil is just gonna drip right down into the pan. So that's the only thing. Come on, uh, relax. Don't get mm -hmm. you be easy. Remember, I'm gonna be like go Beaker from. Uh, me, 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 me. That's okay. So, Hello, see. Everybody. Hey, what up, Lisa? Is that Lisa, Lisa? Yeah. Oh, hey, hey, it's, hey. It's Overwatches, Lisa. Overwatches, oh. hey. I <laughs> got the wife there. <laughs> so, I tried. Wait, to, wait a second, James. You're on both places? <laughs> showing love on both spectrum, both um, both sides. And I like that. So, I tried as best as I could to eyeball it. Um, me, personally, I would have put the whole packet, but homeboy over here is a little picky. Oh, um, in case you guys are wondering, uh, the social medias, of uh, lunch break, they're all the same. Christian name without the H, they're all the same basically. Just the same name for every single one YouTube, Instagram, Twitter. Because I know uh, I, I just saw Michelle asking, How do I find it on Instagram? So same thing. It, yeah, they're, they're all the same name. The Twitter's not up because apparently Twitter doesn't like us right now. So oh we're just gonna have to try it next time. Be careful with that because the. Yeah, it no, it, yeah. it happens to. No, I can't touch it. No, I'm just saying, just be careful with it because it's like not yeah, fully yeah, yeah. closed. I mean, business. it's closed, but... So just um, use a spoon. Really? I did not know that. Hey, come on. Come on, You're relax. the sous chef. No, you said, I, you I said know to what to do. You said to give okay. me instructions. <laughs> no, no. I don't need instructions, Google, okay? I really don't. Just making you feel good, that's all. Oh, that feel good. Then. Oh, get away from me. <laughs> you make my soul hurt. <laughs> There's a joke in my family where we say we make you make my blank hurt. So eyebrows? my eyebrows, my eyelashes, Ooh, my soul. I, I see what you're doing, Super Mario. Yeah, I love it. So you want to mix it and make sure, like what I usually do is I actually kind of tenderize it a little bit with a fork so that way the seasonings will penet well, go into the stuff that you're cooking. But because CK just says, let me give you instructions. Okay, 
I'm not gonna do unless, anything unless he tells me to, except for that. Okay, so is that good enough for you? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I should just hold on to that. <laughs> not, fig not figuratively, like, hold on to it. <laughs> not figuratively. Okay. <laughs> oh, look, in the stove. <laughs> so she said, hi! <laughs> Guys, aren't the only ones that can make jokes. It is a family show. Hey. Oh, nothing, nothing wrong with that. Hey, Francisco, what up? Okay. okay. <laughs> I'm just inspecting. <laughs> no, for, for me, I thought you like you were about to eat it. Like, wow, isn't it? It's still raw. Ooh, baby, I like it. Uh, hey, hey, what the? Jesus <laughs> <laughs> Christ. Let him bless you. <laughs> oh, Michelle came out here, look. Michelle went from Facebook to Instagram? Yeah. Let's okay, do cool. So right, what am so, I doing now? Hold on. It should be... First he told yeah. me not to hold on, now he's telling me to hold on. He can't make up his mind. Well, no, because I'm waiting for the actual grill to start pumping and getting heated. And now I see that look here, see? See, see? Oh. She's doobie now. Oh. Hey, see, she's doobie now. Doobie! All right, so... Yeah. All right. So in the meantime, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna hand you these. You can have those. I can. <laughs> so in the meantime, that should be ready. I'm gonna flip this over. It's still, it's not. It's like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna take this out the hand. packages. What? Dude. Oh, in my hand. Kitchen safety 101. Never point the knife up. Knife up? Whatever. Dude. <laughs> What are you saying? Especially towards a Puerto Rican, you should know dag on whether we hide razor blades in our cheeks, okay? <laughs> you don't know! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna cut this package open so I can take the bacon out. Take the bacon. Again, guys, this is a substitute for tocino. Tocino is different than bacon, tocino is the pork fat, okay? <laughs> Which, by the way, if you have high blood pressure, you should not be eating that at all. <laughs> yeah, be very true. careful with um, the right, so The same way that you can start putting that Excuse on me. there. The same way that I did the uh, chicken, I'm gonna do. Why am I looking that way? The camera's there. Oh well, that is the same camera. Um, I'm gonna cube these bacon up because we're gonna cook it on the grill. So. So am I putting all of the chicken onto the grill well, or as, some? As, as much as you can fit. Don't worry, I can fit enough. Uh, why are you doing? No, 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 no! Don't do one at a time. Just take a bunch and put it on the grill. See how I did that on purpose to irritate him because I knew it would. Yeah. I knew it would I'm on purpose. Into, I'm gonna turn into Bambi in a few minutes. Oh, uh, you'll be all right. Don't worry. Michelle you'll be said, fine. "Hey, Kyra." Hi, Kyra. Um, Michelle said, "Did you guys not usually cook together?" LOL. Uh, yeah, we cook together quite often. But the thing is, when it comes to ethnic food, we always have a disagreement because he thinks he knows more than me. Simply because he lived in the country of where his ethnicity is from, um, but no, no, boo boo. I have more in. I have more when it comes to cooking in the kitchen because I was so blessed to grow up, grow up in a triracial home. So I'm Puerto Rican, Hungarian, and Sicilian. Woo. Yeah. So I'm that white girl Puerto Rican that you don't even know that you be like, wait a minute, does she speak Spanish? Does she not? I really don't. I speak it improperly. <laughs> But my loving husband never corrects me because he knows what's good for him. Baby, I know you're talking, but you gotta put that on the grill and close it because one side is only being I'm just making sure that I have enough on there because there's not enough room for all of it. And it cooks pretty quick. <laughs> you see that nervous laugh that he has? He's doing that because he knows he wants to correct me so bad, but he doesn't want to. So we're gonna set that for four minutes. Cooking time for the chicken is four minutes. Yeah. Okay. All right, so the, the bacon's cut up. Mm-hmm. So after this. the chicken goes the bacon? Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna set this to the side, just take that Goya thing off. Yeah, that smells good already. It really does. It really, really does. So see how let me bring you guys, move this this way, and then grab you guys so this way they can submerge it over there. 
As you can see, if you were doing this on a skillet, that wouldn't come down. That would yeah, be cooking. Be like yeah, that would be yeah. cooking with it. But because we're doing it on grill, mm -hmm. the uh, grease part is coming down. The natural oils in the yeah. meat itself starts to. Which, um, for this episode, we're actually gonna use that. Not that. Not the chicken one. No, we're no. Use the pork. No, I know. We're gonna use the bacon. <laughs> Which, by the way, we're cooking the with pork, pork today because the sous chef is not here. Yes. <laughs> that is true too. So if the sous chef were here and you cooked with turkey bacon, I would have crucified you. Well, no, I couldn't. I For real, I would have so crucified you because there's no I way. I would have not been able to because there's no yeah. factories. <laughs> yeah, no. Um, with, with the Oh, turkey. look, Lisa's on. She said, I'm Sicilian. Weppa! Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> salute! Salute! Other Lisa said, uh, uh, typical Dominican. <laughs> typical Dominican uh, is thank correct. Thank you, Kara. Kara says she loves the apron. Awesome, thanks. See, courtesy of CK. Thank you, thank you. So there's a lot of um, fat coming out of the meat, which is good, because you want to get all that extra. Um, you don't want too much of the moisture coming out, though. You don't want the chicken to be dry. Right. So you just want to be careful with that. But, like, um, Christian had mentioned the fact that... Um, with the pork bacon, you can utilize the fat for other things like frying um, certain things. Like he loves when I make um, omelets on Saturdays yeah. and I don't use regular oil. I actually use the grease from the bacon. You can actually even saute um, cabbage yeah. in bacon fat, which tastes amazing by the way. Also, by the way, people, if you're watching, I'm just gonna take it away. Um, I'm gonna be cutting up the onions at the same time. Mm. Uh, Cause we're already uh, thirty minutes in almost. Hey Andrea, what up? Hey Andrea. So for this recipe, it also requires half an onion. So what do you think? No, I'm just making sure that. It's oh. Done. Mm -hmm. I'm just peeking. Doesn't matter. Puerto Ricans look even, even though the timer <laughs> says one thing. We know. We know when things are ready. We don't need a timer. Forget about it. <laughs> That's pretty. Forget about no. it. Again, you kitchen keep, safety, bro. You keep kitchen doing that. safety. It's not near you. I want to make it to our first year anniversary. Listen, it's not near you, so stop. By the way, happy anniversary. Happy Aww, 30 happy day anniversary. As you guys know, Chris and I got married on October 13th, which is a month and two days ago. Yes, I do count. <laughs> just see. So, really quick, I just want to show you guys really quick. You see all that grease? Yummy. You can actually even use that in your rice when you cook it if you want. You all you can always utilize all the extra stuff that comes out of what you're cooking with. So we got 20 seconds to go on the timer for the chicken. Wow, homeboy over there. Cuts up the onions. Yes. Did you know a tip about helping with uh, the tearing of an onion when you're cutting it up? No. Sniff coffee beans. Yep. Sniff coffee beans. Keep keep coffee beans in the kitchen and every so often when you get that teary feeling you just sniff it and it'll go away. Oh. Uh, yep. So chicken Ooh, is done. Ooh, look at Ooh, that. Wee, nice and brownish. Wee, wee, wee. Look at that guys. Yo. Look at that color. Woo! Oh you're welcome. I know. <laughs> I know. Hold on for a second. Let me give you the uh, other one. Okay. And I know my, my uh what happened? Alright, thank you. Uh, the uh, <laughs> my apron just came off. You want me to tie it for you? Sure, please. Aww. Thank you. All right. Let's make sure you're secure. No, oh, no, that's too tight. Thank you. Hey, Soli, what up? There you go. Thank you. All right, so take this out, put this here, and put the rest on it. Yep. You got it. So while she's doing that, you heard put a matchstick in the mouth. What? A matchstick? Oh, yeah. yes, that makes sense. That makes perfect oh, sense. Oh, Michelle said uh, also if, if, if you heard it when you chew gum also does yes. the same thing. And the reason why is because your nose and your mouth are linked to the same path. So you ever notice when you lose your sense of taste? I mean, when you lose your sense of smell, your sense of taste goes. Did you know that? I didn't know that. Yeah, so when you get sick and you lose your sense of smell, you can't taste anything, and that's because you can't smell anything. Oh. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yep. So we're putting the rest of the chicken on the grill. Yes. Can 
I toss this in there? Yeah, that's fine. Thank you. Lord knows I don't want to do anything without asking you. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. he'd rather yell at me than Doobie because he knows that well. Talking about, I yell at Doobie too. No, you don't. Because I yell at you when you yell at Doobie. <laughs> oh, God. So we're going to set the timer for four minutes again. Yep. And while that's going, what are you going to do? All right, so uh, the onions are cut up. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to set that aside for a second. Okay. Um, so in the meantime, chicken's already done. Mm. Bon appetit. Everything's done. Enjoy. Yep. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> All right, so. Um, um, what happened? Nothing. What happened? Nothing. Talk. Dead air. You don't say anything. No. Dead air. So what I would have done with this particular dish, this is not mine, it's just I would have thrown the sofrito in there to season the chicken at the same time. Well, no, that's the way you're supposed no, to do it. Well, if you're doing it on a skillet, you're doing it on lunch break, and you're using stuff that's at work. Yeah, so you can't and it's do the it that same way. thing. No, yes, you can. Because you want to keep the sofrito. You don't want to end up here. It will keep in there. No, Everything but the uh, no, but the juices will no, stay in. Again. Again. Brr. Ding, ding. All right, so in the meantime, you don't have to wash that right now. I'm not. I just, that way it'll be easier to wash. I just put a little bit of water in it. Okay. All right, so in the meantime, because oh, you said time, right? Yeah. I guess. Um, once that's done, what you're going to do is you're going to put the um, onions with the bacon to cook them in. Okay. All right. And in the meantime. What? Okay. So I'm using a pasta bowl. You guys don't have to use a pasta bowl. You can use a container. Like I said, yeah, we're doing yeah. a lot. You don't have to do a lot. Mm -hmm. So, so for this portion right here, okay. Oh, actually, I'm gonna have to cut up some of the olives. But you know what? I'm gonna leave them cold. They don't have pits in them, right? No. Yeah, you can. No, 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 no. If they had pits in them, the way to take you, the way you can take the pits out is use a skewer. Yeah. Yeah, that. Uh, no, these are the ones that are stuffed with um, pimento. Yeah. Which are the red things, by the way? The little peppers in the inside. Which I can actually eat a half a jar of that by myself. I love olives. He doesn't like them. <laughs> I love olives. I mean, I, I have to be in the mood to eat olives, but I hate black olives. Sorry. Sorry. I like black olives. Sorry for everybody too, who's out there. But black olives Whatever. need to. What? Oh. <laughs> and you're saying. I see Melissa has taken the helm here. <laughs> Not really. He won't let me because well, he give it. Up. you don't you don't know, but he's cutting me a look right now, and he don't understand that that look that he's cutting me right now. He is so gonna catch it when he gets home. Just saying, you're well, so well. gonna catch it. I'm, well, just being, I'm trying to be rated PG, like like rated PG. Not even yeah, PG yeah, thirteen. There is a, a small delay between the social medias. Yes. I'm not even trying to be PG. I'm trying to be rated G because. What I want to Old do to him gangster. right now? No, that's OG. <laughs> no, I know. I just want you to say oh it. Oh my god. I can't. This is what I deal with. Hey, so you win this. What up? Hey, Dad. Mm. So we got like 42 more seconds to go. Yes. Woo wee. I know it's getting hot in here. It's there's getting no, hot no in here. And mind you, by the way, my darling husband over here would actually be on certain episodes wearing a hoodie. And I'm like, why? Listen, you'd be surprised on how cold it gets in here. No, when you're cooking, you should not be wearing a hoodie at all. Do you see chefs wearing hoodies on the TV? No. You want to know well, why? Well, that's they're in air conditioning. No, it's not even because they're in an air conditioner. It's because your sleeves, uh, you have to be making, careful because they can catch fire. Uh, <laughs> Don't get Melissa started. Uh, Carl, we're making um, arroz con pollo, which is rice with chicken, with chicken with rice. What he thinks is the Spanish version, but it really isn't. Listen, I, I, I sent you the video, which was the one that we're doing. And we're out. Woo! Ooh, that's a nice and grilled. I love it. Yeah, we're out. Woo! Yeah, we're out. 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 Yeah, we are out no, I'm just, I'm just, listen, you want to keep it real, you want to keep it 100, let's, you know, I'm going to correct you because at the end of the day, you won't know you're making a mistake unless somebody tells you and taking Ooh, constructive nice, criticism. Nice view right there, look at that. Yeah, it looks like we need a, a light over there, Super Mario, because it, it looks dark. OMG, which by the way, guys, 
I this is why need, I said if I you think would have cooked it. Some lights over there now. If you would have cooked it with the sofrito on here, oh, oh trust my me, it's still gonna be God. cooked with sofrito. It's okay, don't worry about it, guys. I will cook the ethnic version. All right, so in the meantime, yeah, mm -hmm. put the bacon. Yeah. You see how he tries to shut me up, but he really can't. It's okay. So now I'm gonna put the chicken in here. Oh, let me empty this out because you're gonna use the bacon fat. Yeah. So you want to empty out your little grill thing because um. The bacon fat is actually going to go down to the tray, and you can utilize the bacon fat to cook for other things. And bacon fat actually lasts pretty long if you store it properly. The best way to store bacon fat is in a mason jar. Yeah. An airtight mason jar. Um, down south in the southern part of the United States, um, most people store it in a container on top of their stove. I don't do that because I'm just afraid of the fact of things just going away. Look at this chicken, people. Look at that chicken. Look at that chicken. You said you want to put the onions on here with the bacon? Uh, I wouldn't. No, just, just no, because yeah. I didn't get, no, you have a little bacon there. Spread it evenly. Spread it evenly. Don't worry, I can spread it very evenly. Put it in there. Put it, put it, put it in there. <laughs> whoop, whoop, whoop. All right, how many minutes, sir? Same. Same for? Yes. And here we go, four minutes. Be careful when cooking with pork, guys. Yeah. Pork should be fully cooked. Yep. Any type of food that you're cooking with should always be fully cooked. <laughs> Jay say I'm gonna have a new hoodie every week now. Oh my god. You know, just to irritate me, he's gonna do it. Like, <laughs> no, you guys don't know. When I watch the live when I'm on my way home from work, I oh. sit there and I start sweating yeah. looking at you because I'm like, oh my god, he's not doing that. And Joe's saying hi to you. Hi Andrea. Um, and Super Mario's watching. <laughs> Hey. Oh, what up, Lawrence? Hey, Lawrence. So whenever he wears those hoodies, uh, I'm like, dear God, why? Doobie's on vacation for two weeks. That's why he's not here. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Don't worry. I'm just as good as Doobie. No, Andrea was actually Doobie. I know. I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A ghost is fast by. The hooded taste tester just walked by. <laughs> Oh, that's a nice one. Hooded the hooded taste, taste tester. <laughs> so really quick, I want to show you guys what the bacon oh, looks shit. like. You like see that. how the, I don't know if you guys can see it, but see how the bacon fat is literally dripping down into the pan? When you cook bacon on a skillet or not, or a frying pan, um, all that grease that's left over, you can actually put into the mason jar. Do not put the mason jar once you put the bacon grease in yeah. the fridge right away. Why? Because uh, it's still hot. And why? What will happen to the mason jar? Right. If you're not careful, under because there's extreme temperatures from cold to hot, it will actually crack the mason jar. Mm -hmm. So you have to be very careful with that and always handle it with care and, and safety. Wear your mitts because I made the mistake of one time when I was really young mm -hmm. putting hot bacon grease in a mason jar and touched it. Let's just say I never did it again. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, yeah. You learn very quickly when you do stuff like that when you make mistakes. <laughs> you mean like burning rice without putting water? Well, let me tell you about that really no, quick. No, 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 you, but you no, know what I know, about. yes, I know who you're talking about. Here's the thing. Uh, Depending. Hey, Jose, what up? What's up, Jose? Here's the thing. See yes. You tomorrow. Oh, yeah. We're going to go see my cousins tomorrow. Oh. Surprise! Um. He knows, he's acting like he's playing stupid. Anyway, what uh, I usually do. Carl said, I love Spanish food, especially recent meetings. My girlfriend and I go to this Colombian food. It's so good. It's on Old Country Road in Westbury and Palm Diggity. Oh, oh, I know. I know what he's talking about. Havana Central, right? Yeah, Probably? No. Is, Havana Central? is that in the mall? Havana Central is Cuban, actually. That's not oh, Colombian. Yeah. Oh. Uh, we get or I get fish bowl. Oh my god, it's so good. Really? So Colombian food, each each Hispanic culture cooks similarly. Similarly? Uh, that. That's they good, cook by the way. similar. However, there's certain things that they omit and put <laughs> according to what they're used to cooking. So um, like I was saying with the rice. Um, the rice, what I usually do is I wash my rice regardless, and that's just a really? habit um, from being brought up. We were taught to wash the rice. 
and I put it in a hot pan with all my seasonings. Then I put the water in, and I let it. For some strange reason, it depends on how you're cooking your rice. Like if you're cooking aro amarillo. Yeah, that's what uh, Carrie just mentioned just now. Yeah, she said you pan you sear it. You can burn rice for just uh, yes, the coloring of the rice. rice. So when we use achote, which is the real achote seeds, which the real authentic way of making, yes, the real authentic way of making yellow rice is you would use achote seeds in hot oil, not we, olive oil. That's the Puerto Rican side. Right. Dominicans use Yeah, because you use adobo for everything. <laughs> All right, bacon seems to be done, you would say? Uh, I would mush no, it around the, a little bit. Yeah, just move like, it around. Kinda like, yeah. I would kind of like flip this. That side yeah. is not cooked. I just want to be well, careful. Well, because that was the side that was laying on the grease. Well, even still, even if it was laying on the grease, it's just not cooked as well as I would feel yeah. comfortable with. So yeah, another just, four minutes should be fine. Yeah, so, so we're going to now, that while up. she's doing that, um, I'm going to show you the rest of the stuff that goes for this. Right? So I'm going to do the transition. I know on TV it's not going to happen. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the other side of the kitchen. Not that big, by the way. <laughs> Damn! That's what she said. Wow. Wow. You see this? You see this, everybody? No, I don't. You see this, everybody? No. Uh, uh, what'd she say? A natto seed, too. A what? A natto seed? Really? I've never heard. What is a, what is that, a natto seed? I've never heard of that. Never I don't heard know of that. that one so the achote seeds, you can actually. Wait, I think, you know, I, I saw that in the supermarket. I think. I, I'm, That's I'm the to bomb too. They're they are gorgeous women. Ah! All right, so so for this True part, cultural, Albert. now we got the chicken in here, right? I'm gonna add the rest of the stuff that it requires for the ingredients, because the last thing we're gonna put in together to mix the whole thing together is the rice, because the rice is gonna be cooked separately, and then we're gonna put it all together and make a roll. A roll? Yeah, and you say the last the, with the Z. Uh, compote. I was gonna say con, con, con chicken. I can't say it. I was gonna say arroz con chicken. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some onion powder. How much onion powder? We don't measure here! Listen, if you're a cook, you know how much to put in this. Absolutely. Some garlic. If I can find that. Uh, and this is minced garlic, by the way. Like really no, fine. I mean, fine, fine. It's powdered garlic. Minced fine, garlic. Fine, you would see the little fine, no, fine, it's, it's fine, powder. Fine it's powder. Powder. It's powder. Powdered fine. Powdered. Oregano. Uh, just check this. Just uh, to make sure. I got this. Handle your business over there. Oregano. Oregano. Which oregano changes the flavor can, of everything? Can you say oregano? Oregano. <laughs> Some minced garlic. How do you say garlic in Spanish? Uh. Ajo? Are you? How dare you? Say that again? <laughs> Isn't it ajo? What? <laughs> Wait, is it? It, it's it ajo, is, right? yeah. It is. Yeah, but if you say it to the wrong person, it sounds like something else. Bajo. No, <laughs> say it in your head, but don't say it out loud. Say it with an English accent. Oh, I get it. I got you. <laughs> I'm only gonna use a spoonful of this because <laughs> the spoonful is a lot. I like garlic. I've learned to love garlic. I did yeah, not like true. garlic Actually, when I was I young. Actually, I liking garlic to the end, though. Yeah. Because you were playing I put garlic in almost everything, and it's really great for your hair, your mm. skin, and your nails. So if you have really weak yes, nails, garlic is really good. Well, how much? Thank you. All right, so I'm going to put... Mm -hmm. Whoop! All right, All right, you ready. For these, you're going to put at least three to four spoonfuls. Mm -hmm. If you can get it out. You put like two and three and a half, maybe. There. Yeah. All right. Hey, put that there. <laughs> Listen, by the way, my wife loves this, so <laughs> it's gonna disappear. <laughs> Pretty much. Oh, really? Uh, James said anato is a chote. Oh, so it's just a different oh. word of saying a chote. Okay. It's the best garlic, really. Which so is the, the best garlic? I, uh, she's not here, she already left, but I'll let her know when I see her. So what's the best garlic? Uh, I'm kind of like... Achote seeds, I think. Well, no, achote seeds are different. What's the best garlic? Because there are different types of garlic as well. 
don't know. Albert, what are the different types of, what, like, what do you mean by it's the best garlic? That's, his name is Carl, by the way. Well, I'm just it's going like, by what he said. I'm, See I'm there. Not, I'm don't not. correct your wife. You better learn better. I'm just saying. I'm going to be killed today. He's going to be sleeping <laughs> in his job today. <laughs> All right, so this looks a little bit better. My opinion. This is my opinion on how to make it looks. Actually, looks. All right, uh -oh. so now. Oh no! No! Hey, he, he should be good in a few seconds. Alright, so I'm taking the bacon out. Yes. So now, what I'm going to do here is that I'm also going to add in the peas mm -hmm. to this. Which, by the way, you would be using what? Habichuelas. Well, no. I mean, for like I said, for this recipe, right. I didn't want to use the recipe. So, green peas or habichuelas? Yes. So, there you go. Habichuelas. <laughs> Hey, I don't stay here! <laughs> uh, we're making uh, arroz con pollo. Alright. So, am I putting this there? No, in here. Oh, the onions. The onions. Yes. Yes. So, you want me to add yep. in there? Yep. Okay, be careful because this is really hot. Just Thank be you. careful. I don't want you to touch the bottom. So, now I'm going to add the bacon. So, hopefully, you guys are following. Just, you know, just uh, remember to um, <laughs> rewind the video later. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so just oh, FYI, like I did an RIP almost right here where the onions fell into the bacon fat a little bit, but that's fine yes. because guess what? It actually greases the um, the grill mm -hmm. and it adds a little so, extra flavor to it. That's where the bacon fat, where we were telling you where you can utilize it over again. So in case you guys are wondering, I added the chicken, I added the bacon from there. Uh, the green peas are in here. Uh, the garlic, the minced garlic. Uh, she's doing the onions right now. Then Before the dry I'm ingredients. I'm putting the sofrito now. So for this one, like before, you're gonna use about two to three spoons. How long am I doing that? But I'm gonna one? do that uh, probably like two minutes. I'm gonna use about five for this one, only because, like I said, I'm making a lot. All right. And now, sorry, that's okay. You want me to do it? Yeah, please. You have a retarded timer. I'm gonna get you a better one. <laughs> so I told them really quick what I did was I took a little bit of the bacon fat from the tray and I poured it on the grill to put it with the onions so it can give that little extra flavor to it. I'm gonna show you guys how to open a can the right way later. <laughs> Later on in a different episode. <laughs> yeah, a different episode. We'll do how to so, open a can properly. Now I'm going to add the chicken broth to this. Oh, dear Lord. Why do you say all the work for it? And I'm just going to pour enough to cover the last thing that's on top. Mix it a little bit. Because all this is what's going to be cooking in that. No, I was gonna ask for you something. You afraid that I'm walking behind you? Don't, don't feel afraid. No, I was gonna ask for something. What are you gonna ask for? Um, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I need the uh, grease. The bacon grease? Yeah. Uh, kind of dripping. Let me, yeah. Put, let me put that plate under here. Hold on. I just don't want that to drip all over no, I gotcha. the counter. So, I'm gonna so you guys can see. I'll show you real quick. Right there. See? This is what it looks like right now. There you go. Do I have to pour that right the into it? The whole entire thing? Yep, the whole thing. Thank you, sir. There you go. So now you see how glossy it is? Because I didn't want to use... It's so glossy. <laughs> I didn't want to use the olive oil again because I wanted to use the actual bacon fat into this recipe. If you guys don't know, usually Puerto Ricans do this, but as they're cooking, they're eating at the same time, which is, is why, which is why most Hispanic moms never sit down and eat with the family. It's because, excuse me, they're picking <laughs> as they go along. Oh, Michelle said, my husband keeps hearing your timer and thinking that it's mine. <gasps> Hello. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right, so just check on that. Oh, that's nice. You want a little bit more? Yeah, do it for like another minute. Just another pick minute. up the, yeah, pick up those guys that are falling. Uh, yeah, because normally what you would do is when, if you were doing it at home on a skillet, you want to cook these to the point where they're um, almost transparent. transparent. Yeah, see? Or translucent to make them 
tomato tomato. True that too. I'm gonna leave that fork for that because <laughs> fork for this. Fork for this. Fork that. <laughs> oh god. So we're almost at, at the end of the stretch, by the way, guys. Okay. So the last thing. <laughs> guys don't know what olives. Oh, they're so good. So the last thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna let this sit here for a minute. I'm gonna close it up. And I'm gonna do the rice. So in this way, like I said, the last thing we're gonna do is that whole portion of the container. So I'm gonna you like those so much. Mm -hmm. So I'm using um, Spanish rice by the way. Because it already has the uh, red peppers in it. So this way I didn't have to put the red peppers. I'm trying to be lazy and not do a lot of stuff. We do laser cooking here. <laughs> And I'm gonna just open and vent it from one side. Really? Why do you do that? Because that's what it says. I don't do that. Uh-uh. Oh. I don't do that. You're supposed to. <laughs> I've never and had an issue. And set it, that's you too. Set it for 90 seconds. <laughs> you guys. Oh, what a doobie! Mr. Doobie's watching! Bacon fat is good with everything. I agree. Bacon fat. Yeah, that's hashtag true. bacon fat is life. What up, man? You, you see what's going on over there? <laughs> oh my god, that was like so good. <laughs> yeah, you ate it pretty quick. <laughs> Pause, I know. Pause! <laughs> um, time out. Uh, you didn't set the time Flag on the minutes, plate. So I already. What are you talking about? Yes, I did. Oh, okay. Where you at? <laughs> you ain't paying attention. I'm not. <laughs> you really ain't. <sighs> Pause, time what do you out. Mean? How, how you late, man? You're never late, man. What are you talking about? You never late. You're always on time. Everybody else is late. <laughs> oh man! All right, so that's gonna be done soon. All right, so yep, that's good. Uh, am I right. putting it in there? Yep. Yeah. Right. So if you want, you can just yeah, put it into this, that, and then put it into this. Which now that you're like scooping all this yummy, delicious, you can just turn you that way grill, so you guys can see you what she's doing. Yeah, then all you guys can make to see it. Damn, it's so sad we can get to work. Get all that extra goodness off of the grill. Yes. Which, by the way, I love caramelized onions. But my new thing now, which my husband doesn't know, which I'm going to confess here. Confession! Blah, 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 confession here on, on uh, lunch break. To... Do you guys know about fried onions? Oh, I love, fried, I love fried onions. You know the container of French's fried onions that you usually use in What up, stuff? Willie? How you doing, man? Who's that? My friend Willie. Okay, so I have an addiction to fried onions now where they're so good. I'd rather oh eat... God. Yeah, Goodness I'd rather nice. eat the fried onions than pork rinds right now. Oh, that's I was on a pork rind fit for a while, which Super Mario will tell you that that's a staple in any keto home. Am I correct? Hey, 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 pork rinds and right, so everything. I'm, I'm adding the onions to this just in case you guys are wondering what am I doing. Then I was giving you the back. Pork rinds make great ready. Oh, do they ever. OMG, so much better than uh, regular, um, what do you call that, breadcrumbs. Much healthier too, lower in, in, in carbs All right. if you're on a keto diet. Right, I'm just waiting for the rest to finish so I can stick this in there. <laughs> <laughs> Wowzers! So. Oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So yeah, with um, with keto. Thank you, sir. What I've been doing recently is I've been finding different ways to cook. Hey, Alma, what's up? Um. Yes, we do. I'm um, saying so you guys act just like me and my husband in the kitchen. You are so funny, and I like you to see myself. Aww. Thanks, Alma. Um, shout out to Class of 2000, by the way. <laughs> so, um, I've been doing this search of finding keto recipes, but ethnic keto recipes, because we all know that most ethnic dishes are not the most healthiest. Can I get an amen to that, Mr. Super Mario? Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's not right, so always the healthiest. Hold on for a second before you continue. So, I'm going to stick this in the microwave now for two minutes. Meal is not healthy. Yes. Yeah. Oh my. Oh my. 
So what I've been doing is I've been and incorporating. Concern, just oh, sorry. All shows. So I've been incorporating, and my husband has been my taste tester at um, at home. Is but I've been using cauliflower rice, yeah. which most people have this thing where they like, oh, if you cook cauliflower, there's no way you can change the taste of it because cauliflower will always taste like cauliflower. Not necessarily true. Am I correct? Yes, that's true. So um, my amazing husband will let you know that. No, no, no. Oh, I'm so sorry. So depending on how you season the cauliflower will determine the taste of it. So I yeah. actually came up with, not came up with, but I looked online. Mm -hmm. So I came um, across this recipe, which, by the way, I will let you guys know that in most Hispanic homes, especially Puerto Rican homes, we always eat a dessert called what? Mm -hmm. con leche. Oh, okay. Which is basically, which what you don't like? Rice pudding. Rice pudding. So I found a keto <laughs> recipe <laughs> for rice pudding using cauliflower rice, which I will tell you guys, I was skeptical of it because I was like, "Ill cauliflower sweet? No way!" I will let you guys know that it was amazing, and Christian actually liked it also. It was really, really good. Um, the only thing I did omit, which was the raisins, because I can't stand raisins at all. They're gross. Ew. They're old grapes, by the way. I don't care for them at all. But, oh my. We're not going to go there. Pause. <laughs> anyway, um, so I am going to be doing the version of arroz con pollo, but the keto version, which would be with the cauliflower rice. And I will let... Christian report back to you to let you guys know how it tasted because I even made stir fry with cauliflower rice. Am I correct? Yeah. Shrimp stir fry is really, really good. And you can basically do anything with cauliflower. And I was like, there's this big cauliflower craze now where people are using cauliflower for everything. Watch your back. Thank you, sir. No, I'll take that. Okay. All right. Excuse me. Hi. All right, so now we're ready to plate. Plate! So I'm gonna go this way. Switch. I'm gonna move this over here because this is getting to me. Alright. So I'm gonna just put these right there. Alright. So I'm gonna move this way. Plate these meals for everybody. Alright, so we're gonna take some rice. Rice first? Yep. This is well, mm, what? I was gonna say, it looks almost like sopao. Yeah, in a sense. Thank you, sir. Alright, there we go. And then I'm gonna pour in the nice. Mixture of our chicken here. Oh. Put some of the gravy right into it. Mm. And then there you go. Where's the hooded taste tester? <laughs> Just in case you guys wanted to see it, there's the uh, ros con pollo that we made here. Uh, ros con pollo, sorry. Thank you. Uh oh. Uh, I hear do, a do I hear pitter patter of little feet? Oh. <laughs> It's big O! <laughs> the O. The O! <laughs> oh. Ah. Oh, shoot. I feel like making it into this part, just putting the rest in there. You could, but I wouldn't do it. <laughs> no, I know. Well, you did a little bit for Thank you, sir. this gentleman right here. Bye, everybody on TV. Bye, guys! Facebook and, uh, oh, look, we actually got to talk to Instagram already. Should I click share? No, it doesn't matter. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Save then share? No, no, just share. Share? Yeah, I don't, I don't save something. Man, Omar's going to town on that. Oh, yeah. ah! What? What? You said the government. I said Omar's going to town. You don't ever say the government. Oh, sorry. Twice. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> Twice. So, Mr. O. What Listen, he's just, he's just eating it. <laughs> he's like in there. Exactly. I was Woo! It's so, that means it's good. That means it's what? Delicious. Woo! <laughs> awesome. Right, delicious. Yeah. Right, so, are you? Then, is that? Mm -hmm. You want to take it out? Yeah. I'll uh, you already know. Yeah. 
Let me one. see. No, that's good. One. That's good. Oh no, we gotta take care of the gentleman in the back who's who's doing the Super Mario. Yes. I'm good, that's it. You already know I can't handle it. I know. Can you Yeah, which by the way guys, just to let you know, that is incredibly a large amount for me, by the way, but that's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll work with Listen, it. Listen, I still gotta do the uh, presentation one for everybody yeah. to see. Yeah, okay. Let's see what we got going here. Okay. <laughs> I'm critical when it comes to that thing. There we go. Alright, this is for Super Mario. Come on down, you're the next contestant on lunch break. <laughs> uh, what are you, school or fork man? Wow. What does this mean wow? Well, that was not a wow. You look amazing. Alright, so you guys can see the. Excuse me. Don't push me. I'm done. I told you. 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 Everybody, stay oh tuned for a keto goodness. version from so uh, Melissa when she's doing it. It's so good. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna place this. Not that bad, by the way. Oh well, that's my dinner today. <laughs> um, well, there you go. I'm just plating this so you guys can you see guys the presentation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm trying to get him to understand. Those things different than bacon. Mm -hmm. Completely different. Americans actually have it. They call it fat back. That's, thank you. That's the word I was looking for. It's called fat back. Fat back. And then what yeah. I'm going to do so they, they is go I'm going to pour. Go to butcher and mm -hmm. you purchase it in like a slab. Oh, mm -hmm. You go to a butcher and they, I don't know if they sell it in like a stop and shop. You have to go like to a, a butcher. Butcher, butcher, butcher. Yeah. I, or you can go to an ethnic supermarket like um, Food Plus or some places. So anywhere there's like Hispanic there you go. people or Caribbean people, they usually have fat back. There you go, the back. presentation people. Stop and shop. What up, Uncle Danny? What up? Look at that. There you go. So there is your agro con pollo right there, mixture. Ba bam. For you guys to enjoy. So thank you everybody for joining lunch break as you guys always do. <laughs> yeah! uh, thank you for the love like comment and share uh, lunch break to everybody in the world go to the YouTube page go to IMDB rate us literally lunch break one word Christian Knight without the H on all the social media that was Melissa the, the host for, uh, co-host for today don't worry I'll be the host soon <laughs> I will take over thank you uh, thank you Theo <laughs> uh, but definitely thank you everybody for joining us today and watching lunch break Share it to the world, and as again, don't settle for less and make, make it, it your, your best. best. Thank you, everybody.